Have you seen the videos out there telling you how to make your voice deeper? They're not by qualified voice coaches with a degree in voice, and really, half the content is just fluff. So if you want a deeper voice, but you currently sound like this. My name's Mitch from the Gold Coast, nice and sunny in Australia. But really want to sound like this. Now believe it or not, that's the way I used to sound before I met Alyssa. Then this video is for you. Whether you're male or female, everyone can learn better voice techniques. Learning to speak with a deeper tone can be easily learned and a deeper voice can earn you more money, more respect, and make you sound more confident. By using a deeper vocal tone, you can command more respect every time you speak. But here's a warning for you. Uh oh. Forcing your voice too low can cause a vocal fatigue and strain when not done properly. So please listen to your body and start doing the exercises coming up slowly and carefully. First up, have a quick look at this video and see what impact a deeper voice can actually have on the listener. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. Believe it or not, that voice was the actual sound of the actor who played Darth Vader in Star Wars. Can you hear how weak, light and insignificant it sounds? For the role, it doesn't work at all. Now, have a listen to the overdub. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away. That voice was used in the final cut. The actor, classically trained theatre actor, James Earl Jones. So a commanding voice is really important in the right setting. So let me show you how to do it. Step one, the frog breath. I'm going to show you how to do a very quick cheat to get the diaphragm working effectively so you can bring a lot of air into the deepest part of the lungs fast. Because remember, air powers sound. Now imagine you're going to swallow a frog. Open your throat wide and don't allow the imaginary frog to touch the sides of your throat on the way down. Now this is not anatomically correct of course, but it really works fast. Check it out. When I take a deep breath like that, my lower lungs are filled effortlessly in one second flat. No shallow chest breathing going on here. My stomach pops out because my diaphragm has been used correctly, which some people call belly breath. And when we want to speak with a deep commanding tone, we need to take a breath in like that first. So let's try together, you ready? Do you feel the tummy pop out and get fatter? If the answer is yes, you did it right. Let's move on. Step two, the larynx drop. Now that we know how to open the throat and take a proper deep diaphragmatic breath, now we're going to drop the voice box down to the lowest position that we can without pain or force. Now, I want you to put your hand around the voice box like this and do a yawn for me. Mmm, what did you notice? Not only does your voice box drop down, but now your throat muscles open up at the same time by yawning. Now, since the larynx is suspended by bungee-like ligaments, it can really move up and down at will anytime that we want. But keep in mind though, that choosing to lower your voice box every day during speaking can be very tiring because you're using more muscles. Those bungee ropes are pulling the voice box down. It's like doing a squat for hours a day. And so therefore it can be very exhausting for your muscles. It's certainly not recommended for long periods of time, but let's do it with a very open throat and a lowered larynx. And now we're ready for the next step. Step three, the morning chant. The best way to put all of these three steps into practice is first thing in the morning. The reason is this, the voice box is in a naturally lower resting position straight after we wake up. Have you ever had a conversation with somebody that just got out of bed? Hi. Did I wake you up? No, no, I've been awake for hours. 
You can tell when somebody just got out of bed because their voice sounds different. The voice box is in a lower position, so this is the best time to practice. After you get up, drink a full glass of water to hydrate the body, and then I want you to sit in a comfortable chair and start the following practice. Here's a simple, effective daily routine. Frog breath. Feel the belly expand and relax, and then yawn down the scale. Oh, and keep the throat muscles really open. Let's do that again. Frog breath and yawn. Oh. Now we're going to vocalize and sustain a relaxed low tone on an R sound. Think Morgan Freeman here. Once you find your easiest lowest tone, we're going to then step backwards one note at a time, keeping the throat open and the voice box down like this. Um, step down. Um, step down. Um, of course, you need to find a tone that's suitable for your voice. See, if I speak all day like that, it's not going to sound right for me. But for very short periods of time and for very serious points during public speaking, it's absolutely perfect. So play around with those sounds and find the best pitch that feels right and sounds right for your voice. If you've enjoyed this video today, I know you'll get tons of value out of my next video too. I'll see you there.